Hello loves, so I'm here to make a video about embodiment and I also want to talk about that I have been feeling very very low lately I read somewhere yesterday that it's like this kind of death and life kind of period right now we're in and that it's a lot of energies and that people have been feeling very tired and like unclear and things like that and I can totally relate I have been feeling very 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 shitty like in all ways I have completely like lost all my self-esteem and I like relapsed into so many things and felt so bad and was just so like not lost I wouldn't say lost but confused like real confused so I've just been loving myself through it and kind of embracing it with instead of like pushing it away or trying to make it go away faster I have just been embr embracing whatever's been coming my way like even the relapses and things like that I just embraced it and I also want to say that I'm kind of pissed off at Sweden right now because it's the 12th of May and it's like this cold shitty weather and I still have to have my winter clothes on and it's not bam at all <coughs> so that's kind of shitty but that's Sweden like I'm kind of I'm used to it I've been here all, almost my whole life so uh, yeah I've been feeling very bad I've been feeling like I've been questioning everything I have been unsure about what I want to do and been like because I'm starting a new project that I don't really want to talk about because I don't know where it will go and I don't want to make any promises but I've started this proje project and it's kind of bringing up all my insecurities and like making me feel like I'm not qualified to do this I'm not good enough for this I don't have any trainings for this like who am I coming here with just experience and talking about all of this so it's been kind of hard and it still is in many ways because I still feel very like confused I don't know how to proceed or what feels really really true and aligned right now I have been doing a lot of soul searching and I still can't feel into myself in that way I just feel that it's something that I'm like kind of building up to do right now like there is some project or something that is kind of being birthed through me right now and I'm just waiting for that to become clear so that I don't throw myself into something from a very ungrounded place and just create something that will like just something that I will have to give up because I've done that before I know how that feels like just being very excited about something in the beginning and then just realizing that yeah this isn't what I really want to do and I've been doing that for like a long time so I know how it feels and I feel like okay I've been there I have made those mistakes and I feel kind of past like I, that has passed and it no longer serves and like I don't want to continue going down that road I want to be not completely sure and have it figured out because I want it's not the way I work and not the way I do things like I work from a soul lead perspective so it's always a little bit what am I doing or is this right it's all like it's almost going a little bit in the dark but it, I still don't want it to create from this just super excited kind of place without it having like any outcome because it's not that I have a special outcome that I want I just wanted to have like some outcome and the last things I have done didn't have any in the world it had more for me personally and now I just would like to share more with the world so I have talked a little bit about myself and what's going on and now I want to continue go down to the topic of today which is embodiment so like what is embodiment what does that mean so embodiment is when you have a truth 
or have something that you live by and it's really like grounded inside your body so let's say it's something that you really like embody something that is really inside of you let's say you really like you really embody the belief that all beings are equal and because you embody that as a truth inside of you you live by that too so that means that you do whatever feels right to you and whatever feels aligned to you to respect honor and take care of all the beings on this planet and like there is i have thought about this because i've seen this going on on my journey from like all from time to time like all the time and uh, like I can feel when a lesson, a new way of being, just I can feel when something is coming into my field, and it's like it feels like a do download. It feels like okay, ping, it's here now. Like I'm aware, I'm I'm aware of that. Like I'm conscious about it, but I still don't have it inside my body. Like I still don't embody this. It's something that I'm aware of, it's something that I know about, it's something that like that I can think about, it's something like inside of my head and something that is like floating around the crown chakra and being like presented to me but it isn't really inside of me yet and then the process of embodiment begins and as all processes it goes up and down and it shows you different angles and perspectives and things and sometimes it's easier sometimes it's harder like it depends on what you are embodying what the way is what the lesson is like whatever it is that is coming into your field because it's actually no like it's no point in knowing or understanding something if you don't if you don't embody it like you can't go on and change the world with your opinion. You got to do it with your behavior, like with the, how you are. Because you can talk as much as you want, but if you don't live by that, it's no use. And I really want to point out that I don't embody much of what I talk about, but I'm in the process of doing that. I'm very devoted to that. And I don't want to make anyone feel like, because I have this myself, like feel ashamed or like you're not good enough or that you're not spiritual enough or that you're not doing enough or anything like that with anything I say, because it's not what I mean. Like you're not doing anything wrong if you don't embody something 100% and like live by that because it's a process and it takes time. But what I want to say is that you can't really go on talking about shit and talking about things that is like that you feel are kind of cool but you have no plan on kind of embodying them and having them as a truth in your life so for example like let's take crystals like you can have as many crystals as you like and you can like believe in them and talk to them and worship them and whatever but if you don't embody the power inside yourself that can connect to those crystals and wor work from within and kind of make them the tool to help you with what you want to accomplish or get on with or like see clearer like the crystals ain't shit. Your knowledge about the crystals and everything you have, and no matter how many you have or how expensive they were, if you don't embody your own power and your like own like commitment to yourself, those crystals will just be something you use to bypass the truth. You can't really just speak about things because speaking is not enough you have to embody you have to like practice what you preach really it's all about that embodying is all about practicing what you preach so i wouldn't sit here and talk to you about 
getting to the root and becoming grounded and things like that if I didn't do anything about that myself because like I live my life in this way I live my life I'm walking a path of like healing myself becoming grounded embodying my soul like really truly embodying my truths and what I came here to do and like exploring my different purposes and exploring everything really and I wouldn't talk about all of that and preach about all of that if I didn't do it myself because I would feel like a fraud and I sometimes feel like a fraud because I do speak about things that I don't 100% embody like I'm, I'm in the process of embodying them and I can feel like so not enough when I don't embody something 100% because I feel like I'm talking about this, I'm preaching about this and I don't embody this myself, like I'm a fraud, I'm fake, uh, people won't trust me. So it can be quite hard like when you talk about things, when you're in the process of embodying them. But I think it's really important to like not just talk about things that you already embodied and like mastered and perfected. Because I think it's very important to also show this messy, up and down, hard kind of, yeah, this messy, raw side of embodying your soul's truth and the universal truths and like embodying all the lessons and the ways and the, yeah, the lessons that you came here to learn. And it's important to show like the whole journey not just the top to like the top part of it when you're done and you're like okay i'm at the finish line and i have done this i feel so good i think it's also very important to show the messy part and the uncomfortable parts and the like i don't know what the fuck i'm doing here like i don't know i don't have anything figured out i'm just like kind of being the flow and seeing where that takes me because i don't like saying go with the flow because you are the flow so you're not going with the flow you are the flow so it's kind of like that for me like i really want you to see all the parts and i really want you to see all the ways and all all the ways that the process shows up like it's not this perfect clean line where you just begin here and then you embody it and you are here like the process of embodying things that are really true for you and the ways that you came here to be will take time like sometimes it will be very fast and quick and it won't be that much fuss around it but sometimes it can take years to embody something and it can take years to truly feel something inside of your body and that's okay like it's a process it's supposed to be that way it's nothing wrong with that so yeah i think that i really wanted to talk about all of this to show you that there is no point in preaching things without really following them yourself or um, like being in the process of embodying them so I'm not saying that you have to embody things 100% to speak about them because that wouldn't be true to what I'm doing. But I'm saying that if you are going to preach about things or teach or guide or whatever, like whatever your path is, you're going to have to like hold yourself accountable to what you're talking about and be very true about the changes and uh, and it's not for other people so that they don't judge you or things like that. It's more about for yourself so that you don't fall into this ego kind of like this ego trips or like this yeah, this like ego way of just talking about shit to get followers or something like that. So that you stay really true and aligned to yourself and where you're at. So coming clear and being accountable isn't about other people, it's all about you and like so that you feel that you're true to yourself and you're not just going around talking shit and like saying whatever 
sounds right or feels right to say to gain likes or followers. So embodiment is a process. Embodiment is really having something as a truth inside of you, something that is really a living part of who you are. And that is embodiment, like a living part of who you are and what you believe and all that is like when you embody stuff and they become your truth. So it's not about just knowing and picking stuff up, it's about really being that. And it's a lot of talk about that like in the manifesting communities and like people are really into manifesting. I will make a video about that someday but uh, like if you want to manifest something in your life you can't you have to become what you want like if you want abundance you have to be abundance and it's not that you just go and you're like I'm abundant and then you are like it's not, <laughs> I wish it was but it's not because you have all these layers that take away though like stop you from really truly believing that you are abound abounded because you are like you can't be something that you aren't but you have all those blocks against that so you can just say to yourself like 20 times a day i'm abundant and then you will become that it's like a process of uncovering and like taking off and unpacking all the ways that you are blocking your abundance and those things that you want to manifest because when something isn't manifesting into your life it's because you are blocking that unconsciously most often because of fear and like not feeling safe and your inner child not feeling safe and it's so many things so embodiment is about being having a living part that is and like is becoming this being that you want to be like that the being that feel feels aligned with your soul and feels very like centered so that was a little bit of my crazy back and forth kind of explaining um, of embodiment and i i am very aware that i can be like jumpy when i talk me and my friends always talk about this like we are so jumpy when we talk it's not like a thread we follow we just go back and forth and that works for us so like if you can feel confused about everything i'm saying please tell me that and like kind of give me some advice on how i could do to be a little bit more clearer but this is how i am right now and this is like what's true for me so bear with me and yeah that's what i want to say about embodiment what that means like a little bit about what that means how it feels how the process can look and that i want to show you and put, portray everything like every little part of that the hard bits and not just like the beginning and the end like everything in the between because like the beginning and the end are the not so important parts but like the process in between like in between the journey of all of that that's where the gold and the lessons and all the beauty and treasures and gifts and pain and everything lies and you you need to know about it all so thank you so so much for watching thank you for bearing with my jumpy mind and my jumpy way of explaining things and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will just want to shower you with so much love and appreciation for being here. So thank you so, so much and take care.